Hi, my name's Rob and this is the Atheist Dominion. And in this video, I want to talk about how and why I became an atheist, because uh, I wasn't always an atheist. I would probably describe myself as being agnostic for, for all of my life. I, I never had any religious convictions at all. Um, and I didn't really think too much about it. So I thought, yeah, there may be something out there, but who knows what it is. And uh, I never subscribed to any of the uh, religions, um, nothing. Many, many years ago, my girlfriend at the time was a very religious girl, very, very Christian. And she was the one that got me onto the subject of creationism. I hadn't even heard of it before. But reading it and and being interested in why people think that made me look more into not just Christianity, but other religions and why do people believe the things that they do and how do they justify these beliefs? And the the main literature that she had was from Answers in Genesis. And she was attending some of their talks that they were doing in Brisbane at the time. I'm, I'm sure they still have speakers come out here, although I think from when they, when they split years ago, their, their rejected brethren, which is now the Creation Ministries International, I think AIG had to stay away from Australia for a while because they don't have a, um, you know, a ministry or an outlet here in this country. Though I found out that Ken Ham's brother is selling AIG books in his, in his builder's office down in Loganholm. Anyway, beside the point. So I, um, I, I came to creationism via this, this, this girlfriend and I started reading and I thought, this, is, this doesn't make any sense. This is, okay, I'm not a scientist or anything, but even I could see that a lot of their stuff was just fraudulent. Like for example, they thought that one of their beliefs was that um, dinosaurs roamed medieval England, like, like really dinosaurs walking in, in northern England in the 15th century. And uh, they... They, they claim that uh, there's etchings on the floor in some brass tomb or something um, that shows dinosaurs. And, and they wrote about it in one of their magazines. It was this creation magazine from 2003, I think. Where is it? Yeah, no, September, November 2003, Philip Bell wrote um, this thing about dinosaurs. In medieval England that's just crazy because that means that if if there were dinosaurs in medieval England then they must have been there during the Norman conquest and they must have been there when a big part of Britain was part of the Roman Empire did any Romans or Normans write about dinosaurs in England no so that's just nuts that's that's silly um, they also think that the the Ice Age is mentioned in in the Bible and so even to me, as, as someone who's not scientifically trained, this just didn't make sense. And I was fascinated to know why they think that. It was, it was their, their religious beliefs, their fervor to prove everything in the Bible that they would completely put common sense aside and come up with these very, very strange ideas which they believed wholeheartedly. So I, I became interested in the debate between, well, creationists and everybody else, because to them, everybody's the, the enemy. The long and the short of it was that Answers in Genesis made me an atheist. Sounds ridiculous to say it, but that's the truth. Um, and, and also, a little more disturbingly, I never got a sense of any sort of joy from Answers in Genesis for, for what they believe. Everything to them seemed to be scientific and cold and statistical and they're out to prove this and prove that and they I never got any sense of just just peace or joy or happiness from them. You know, they, they have this very cold uh, approach to what they do. Where's the joy for the Lord? It doesn't seem to be part of the, the DNA of Answers in Genesis. And I was at one of these, these Answers in Genesis talks on, in one of the southern suburbs of Brisbane years ago with, with, this, with this religious girlfriend. And Gary Bates was there. And I think Gary Bates now heads up Creation Ministries International in, in the US. And I remember he, he was going to talk about Noah's Ark, I think. And the session began with some local minister or pastor or whatever he was 
leading the, the the group gathered for this creation talk and I think there was a hymn or something and um, he read something from the Bible but he was so happy and he was so enthusiastic for what he was what he was talking about and even me as a, as a complete non-believer this guy was just a joy to watch because he was so fired up for what he believed and was bouncing all over the place and that kind of enthusiasm can be infectious and I remember I looked across to, to Gary Bates, and he was just sitting there like this, just kind of like, you know, like he was bored. He just wanted to get through this and go off and, and do something else. Maybe, you know, I don't know. He just looked bored. The fervor that this, this minister had was completely absent from, from Gary. And, uh, and then Gary got up and gave his clinical cold talk about the flood and how the Bible's right and answers in Genesis is right and everyone else is wrong. So all of that combined, years of, of looking into the, the subject of religion and, and trying to find my way through scientific papers and learning and thinking and, and asking questions and going to talks. And the more and more I looked into religion, especially the way that Answers in Genesis portray it, the more I thought this is all of it, uh, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. Certainly the, um, the scientific way of looking at the, of the life universe and everything was um, made much more sense. And I was very much put off by not just AIG, but certainly the way religion seems to be going now. Everyone's yelling and everyone's angry if you don't agree with them. And everyone's, you know, it's like you have to believe what we believe or else you, you'll go to hell. You'll do this or you'll do that. And it's, I thought, that's enough for me. I'm not, I don't want to be around these sort of people. And uh, before I knew it, I didn't even know it. I, I had become an atheist. So AIG just came across as suspicious. There was that almost a cult-like suspicion of anyone who doesn't agree with them. Um, Self-superior, holier than thou, sanctimonious, and just that 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 feeling, that all-pervading sense of suspicion. Who are you? What are you doing here? Why don't you agree with us? So for me, it was welcome to atheism. And I haven't looked back and I'm quite happy being an atheist. I can leave all that religious dogma and nastiness and, and closed mindedness behind. Not that I ever was religious, but atheism is freeing. And I've said that before in another video, it's freeing. All right, thanks for watching. That'll do. See you next time.